Um, my name is Will Carmack and in today's After Effects tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to animate photos to move with the puppet pin tool here in After Effects. You can see here I'm animating this dude to make a karate chop. I've got the pin tool making this woman do a cartwheel. Whether you're making incredible photo animations like this or you're keeping your image still, the puppet pin tool will add dynamic motion to anything in a photo. And before we get started I want to let you know that all the example photos that we will be using in this tutorial were all sourced and found on my amazing sponsor, Storyblocks. The first step is here in Photoshop. I'll just give you a quick preview. We're gonna remove the person you want to puppet pin and just recreate the background. So in Photoshop, there's a great tool up here on the left. If you click on the quick selection tool, you can actually go to object selection tool and I will just create a box around this lady here. And you'll see it gives us this almost flawless selection of her body. And the way I do this is control shift C and control shift V for a perfect copy and paste. And now you can see we've got this woman perfectly cut out from this scene. And what I'm gonna do is if you hold down control and click on the person in your image, it's going to create a selection around your entire person. If you go up to select down here where it says modify, we're gonna go to expand. And I'm just gonna expand this selection by 10. What we've done here is we've just expanded the marching ants that were around her cutout by 10 pixels so we can fill in the background without removing as much of the original background. And because Photoshop has amazing AI now, what we're gonna do is hit generate fill and then click generate. And bam, just like that, it has removed the background. We just put her back on top there. And now we have a character that's perfectly ready to be puppet pin tooled. Just quick, I'll show you, I've done this with all the different examples that I'm gonna be playing with here today. I'm just a master at removing and recreating the backgrounds in Photoshop. And here's the smartest way to do this effect. If you go to File, Save As, I'll name this file Yoga Lady, and it's gonna save as a PSD. Now, we'll hop back over here in After Effects, and if we grab this Photoshop file that we've exported, the PSD, and drag that into After Effects, you're gonna get this pop-up that says Import Kind, and what you wanna have it set to is Composition, and then on Layer Options, Editable Layer Styles, and hit OK. And now it's actually gonna bring your Photoshop layers into After Effects. So if I double click on this composition here, you can see we now have our Photoshop files here in After Effects. So I, I can solo it and show you here that this is the generative fill that we brought in, this is the lady that we cut out, and this is the original background. I'll go ahead and rename this layer to Lady PNG. So I'm about to show you how easy it is to turn this PNG of a woman into a person doing a yoga pose. So at the top, you'll see right here, the puppet position pin tool. We're gonna click on that, and I'll just show you how this works really quick. So we wanna create puppet pin points where someone wouldn't be moving. So like right here, her feet are anchored to the ground. So I'm gonna create a point right here and a point right there. And so let's say now if I wanted to make a pinpoint at the top and drag this, you can see now that her feet are locked to the ground. And best practice would be create an anchor point everywhere someone would have a joint. So now if I create this point at the top, you'll, you'll see that she's only gonna move from her waist right there. And if you just move this one in the middle, she's gonna move from all of these points and all the other ones are gonna act as anchors. <laughs> I mean, you could create a really tri trippy animation if you like played around with this right here, like whoop, do, 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 do. Sorry, that's crazy. So now that her legs are all anchored to the ground, you could actually play around with a puppet pin tool by creating a puppet selection on her shoulders. You can see here, you can get a really good animation of her doing this yoga pose like this. Or you could create one at the top of her hands and get one that looks like this. It's a really subtle animation. This one you could tell is actually moving her arms a little more. So it gives that little stretch. If you just created the pin position like where her stomach is, her arms won't be moving as much. So it's really player's choice depending on how fine tuned you want the animation to go. Or you could create an anchor point at her elbow elbows as well and her hands and so maybe in this pose she's actually only moving her hands like this and you can see there's a subtle movement in her body and this also just looks really amazing and again the more anchor points you have the more isolated each movement and animation is going to be because we have all these anchor points if we stretch out her knee everything else is going to stay the same and get something weird like this so here's how the animation of it all works if you hit you you'll see that every time you've created a pinpoint it actually created a keyframe for every single position so we have this starting position locked in with all these position puppet keyframes. So let's say I go over 
four seconds in the composition. I'll grab this keyframe on her shoulders and I'll have her animate backwards like this. So she's doing a big stretch backwards. You can see now I've got these two keyframes right here and it's gonna cycle through that animation. And now we have our lady doing a yoga pose. You could even reverse these two keyframes. So she's actually going back to position A. This is a great example of how to use the puppet pin tool. And maybe you photographed a yoga class and you wanna make animations promoting your yoga photography. This would be a great example. Or maybe this one as well. You can see all my puppet pin selections here. And I am just moving this puppet pinpoint here to make her move. Obviously, this is a little crazy. I'm just creating this puppet pin at her head. I can just move that to create her making a subtle yoga movement. So if you play that back, it honestly looks incredibly realistic and this photo animation is flawless. You can see all the puppet pinpoints here are on all the different joints in her body. And so I feel like her hips and her legs and everything is moving perfectly according to this motion. Same with Karate Man here. I have locked in so many different points of his body and I'm just animating this puppet pin tool to go down so we get him a good karate chop and just move his arm however I want and make a cool ninja animation. Every single one of these photos that I'm showing you here today, I sourced and found on Storyblocks. And if you're like me, you wanna practice the effects that you're learning on these YouTube tutorials, but maybe you don't have the resources or time to go find footage and photos that you can practice on yourself. So this is why I recommend anybody who wants to get into animation or editing to sign up for Storyblocks. You have endless library of photos and videos to choose from. For example, you can take this photo right from Storyblocks, bring it into After Effects, and practice this technique I'm showing you. You take this photo from Storyblocks and practice this technique I'm showing you. And plus, it's a monthly or annual subscription, so you don't have to pay per clip. Once you sign up, you have immediate access to their millions of amazing professional assets. Not only these incredible photos, but the 4K amazing crispy footage, music, and sound effects. They even have After Effects templates as well. Look how cool this looks. This could be yours. And I've got you guys hooked up. If you go to storyblocks.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get two extra free months when you sign up with the annual plan. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Storyblocks. If you have any questions about this After Effects tutorial, leave them in the comment section below. I will respond to everybody with a question. Follow me on Instagram, where I make and post amazing visual effects I know you're gonna love. And don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.